YouTubers in War Thunder. Most of us take only one vehicle into a match, and to be honest, it teaches some players bad habits. So in this video, I take a full lineup of vehicles into multiple matches to see how we get on. Oh, and there's some really cool vehicles in here too. Like uh, this thing. Yep, that's the p 5090 Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing a full lineup of vehicles, USA vehicles to be specific, at 5.7, one of my favourite BRs, and some of my favourite vehicles in this lineup too. Now before we start this video, there's a reason why generally I only pick one vehicle and play the only one vehicle is, well, it forces me to play it for one, it puts me into situations where sometimes you might get yourself involved in, and then I can give you my feedback on said vehicle, but it's not a good way to grind War Thunder, it's not a good way to play, unless you've maybe only got like 10-15 minutes to get a match in, then maybe I can forgive you. But the best way to play War Thunder is with a full lineup, and a full lineup I have at 5.7, it's got pretty much everything I need, and let's start with the vehicle that I'll be probably bringing out the most. This is the M18 Black Cat, it's basically an M18 without the flash hider on the front. The only reason I'm using this over the Tech Tree version is, of course I get a premium bonus, and I already have this thing, so I may as well use it, and it helps me build up my Silver Lions a little bit more. It's a light tank, it gets scouting, it's extremely fast, it can side shot and sometimes take out a lot of targets from the front depending on the BR that we're at, so for that it's pretty much ideal. With 50 cal on top they'll deal with airplanes and stuff as well, so that's pretty nice. As for our tank destroyer, something that's got a little bit more poke than the other tanks that we have, all these three other ones basically have the same gun. This is the Jackson, it's got a 90mm cannon, it can deal with things like Yag Panther from the front, not quite a Ferdinand or anything like that, but for a little bit extra oomph and fill up tiers, this is a good enough tank for me. Moving on to our stable diet, this is our medium tank, this is the Easy 8. Now I don't really bring this thing along so much as I used to, unless I get a map like Berlin, where I'll cover the heavy tank, uh, where I need a bit more punch. Uh, this thing's got a stabilised 76mm cannon, so it's very good for urban environments, but it's pretty slow, and it's armour, to be honest, even at 5.7 now, it's pretty terrible. Panther, sorry, Panzer 4 will easily punch through your upper front plate, will go through your turret, it's only 100mm here, and again, 100mm effective up here too. Most Russian things will go through as well, so just take this with a pinch of salt. I'll bring this out just in case I need to clutch a game, uh, so that's why it's there. Now, our heavy tank, I know it's 5.3, I know it's only got a 75mm cannon, however, it's still very good at breaking through enemy lines, and for tiny maps, which you'll see in this video, it's still extremely good. Our frontal armour is pretty decent against most things. What it's made for is, if I can't push through a cap, my enemies are all over the place, my teammates are nowhere to be seen on the map, I can at least bring this thing through. Try and push back the enemy enough so that my teammates can push up, and that's why you bring a heavy tank into the game. Not to beat up on scrubs, it's for breakthrough. And I think it's actually called this in real life, and that's why I bring it along. Now, for our planes, we're going to start with our multi-role fighter and cast plane. It's a P-47M, you can use any fighter that you want, which will carry bomb load and rockets. The rockets are great on this thing for taking out open top SPA at long range, so you don't need to keep on your 50 kills so much, and it gets two massive bomb drops too. And once our ordnance is gone, we can go hunt down enemy cast as well. For our pure cast plane, and... From time to time, you can shoot out a fighter or one or two. Uh, this is the AM1 wall. I, I prefer this 5.7 over the AU1 just because it flies a little bit better. The AU1 has more bomb load. It's also a premium, which most people don't have. Definitely recommend this guy. It gets 420mm, which can top down pin Panthers once your ordnance is over. Again, I take the rockets for the open top stuff and sometimes the odd Tiger, etc. Uh, and we get three separate bomb drops on this guy too. So purely for a close air support roll, AM1 Mauler. And for our air dominance fighter, from when the enemy air is just too thick, you've got a thing that can turn and burn and absolutely destroy pretty much any aircraft that will come up against, even 262s at times. So, that's the reason for the lineup. I'm going to head into a game now. I'll try and explain. Oh, by the way, we've got an SPA, which I'll only take in a last ditch effort. I never take an SPA to shoot down fighters before we head into battle. If there's enemy cast up and I can afford a plane, I will take a plane nine times out of ten. This is for when all of your spawn points are drained, and this is the only thing I can take out, and there's fighters up, there's possible light tanks, that's the only reason I bring an SPA. That might be different for you, you might have a different opinion, but that's just how I play the game. Anyway, let's get into battle, and I'll show you how to play War Thunder normally, from a YouTuber's perspective. Let's get into battle. Right, I think this is 6-3, I'm just going to double check. Uh, there's no nook here, so yes it is, let's go. 
120 spawn points to bring this bad boy. Some people ask me about check, but the easiest way if you're 5 7 is to check that the B29 is in there. Um, but yeah, 100 spawn points in your medium tank means it's a fill up tier. 120 spawn points means it's almost a fill up tier. And then anything higher than that is, it gets better and better. 150 spawn points means full down tier. But a medium tank. And that's really the way to gauge it. Well, a medium light tank. Light tanks used to be a lot lower to spawn in. But obviously, light tanks are better than medium tanks for a lot of reasons. One being scouting, two being basically raw speed and pretty much the same cannons as their, their counterparts. Medium tanks are sometimes better actually. Bit of a weird one, but not all light tanks are born equal and this one certainly wasn't either. It used to be 4-7 when I first played War Thunder. Imagine that. I actually think it does better up here at times. It used to be a lot faster too. A lot faster. I'm the only one out in this flank. I don't really like solo flanking. But it's what we got, right? Was that a Ferdi I saw or something? Bro. It was a Tiger 2P. Hello, Panda. Let's get some concealment here because I don't really want to get caught out from this side anyway. Oh, that should have done a lot more damage than it did, but it. Gaijin, does he say? Oh, God, hey. Was that a teammate or no? What's well, not? Is that you again? No, it was not. Right, I guess we're going to end up in a plane sooner rather than later. <laughs> There's two of them. Oh, three of them were getting shot by. Yeah, that's the, the dangers of the solo flank, did, but because I'm not playing one vehicle, I don't really need to worry about it. Let's go AM1 mall or maybe... Yeah, let's go. I just realised last second I don't have the right belts, but it's fine. Sometimes having an extra bit of HE is good for taking out open top stuff. Much better than just AP. Right, ACAP looks like it belongs to us. The map is looking a bit weird right now. I don't know what Nick Tamar is doing out here. Nothing, basically. He's, well, he's in an ARL 44, so I can't really complain about him. That is not a very good vehicle. Some people ask me why I don't bring the AU-1 out. It's because it's rubbish. And that's the best answer I can give you. This is far better. That is a King Tiger. So, he's going first. And then we got Panther and a Tiger down here. I think my teammates are coping with this Panther. Oh no, maybe they're not actually. Send a little love his way. Yeah, let's get rid of this Tiger if we can. Nice. Right. A Panther and a T-34 and we got two planes coming in. That might be the end of this run for this plane, but we'll see what we can do, right? Actually, that is... A Panzer IV. And he's gone. Or Tiger. And here comes aeroplane numero uno. Good stuff. And we're getting shot by an anti-air, I believe. He hit me pretty good too. Oh, was. We need to talk. <laughs> right, it's fighting time. It's a good quick five kills. Nice and easy. And now we gotta go take the rest of those aircraft out, so let's go. Oh, we got a... We got a zero up. Well, we don't, actually, because he's dead, but we had a zero up. I need to be remembering this, uh, this dude in the SPA was pretty good. Oh, I think all the planes are dead. And I only got one of them. So where did the rest go? They crash into the ground? Maybe one lurking. It's medium tanks taking out that Oswin too. 
Right, we are going shopping for open tops right now because oh, there's a little anti-air down here. You're the guy who hit me before, right? Because I don't think it was the last one too. Oh damn! That Armour Divine guy just knocked out a Tiger 2P from miles away. Right, it's one less thing to worry about. And there's a nasty horn there. No planes yet. I think he might actually be stuck. He's trying to shoot himself out. Good. Well, I probably should have just left him there for... He probably... <laughs> probably be better off sitting there not actually being in a useful tank if he's stuck. Right, here comes our first proper dogfight, I guess. Oh, two, two planes. That is a sticker, right? Yeah, he's... That is a poor, unfortunate little child here. But, you know... Still deadly to teammates on the ground, so... This is my first game of the day, by the way. Give me some, uh... Cut me some slack for my terrible aim. Am I, am I using AP belts in this? Because I shouldn't be. Oh, they're universal. See if we can tap this guy. This guy with some HE. Not enough lead, and I can't go after him either because there's a fighter coming now. Yeah, I'm in a little. Let's get out of his guns, and he's dead. Right, big boy, come back here. Yeah, I don't like taking head-ons, but when it comes to big old planes nuking my teammates on the ground, that's a different story. That's a flip. Fidget spinner McGee, dude. Zoe Internet Cafe boy. Right. What do we got now? I think we're pretty... I think we're doing pretty good on the ground. Still a lot to be done though, because they keep respawning. That guy just make sure he can't fire. What's that M42 shooting at? Okay. Sure, what I just watched there. There goes another crew member. Could probably save some ammunition just in case this happens. Ooh, okay. The new BTRs there as well. Wait, we've won this basically unless something completely disastrous happens. We should be in a good amount of points by now. Eh, not really because we're using planes. That wobble just clipped you, sir. No, it was the BTR. Just kill you down a wee bit. I don't need to be on this fast anyway. The, the guy let the P-47 land. Right, we're going and let's go. Let's go, 109. Mistakes are being made right now. was my last bullet. He's gone, big man. <laughs> He's gone. Hey, right, where's this BTR at? Oh, he's dead, too. Two guys left. And it's an all ogre, dude. All ogre. You bad damage on that guy. There's no need to throw away my plane here, but some extra silver lines from getting an assist or so is always helpful. There he goes. GG, dude. That's the killing blow. That is the killing blow. Awesome. That last ticket's bleed out. Come on. There we are. That's the one. That's the one.
me. This is the smallest map in Warthland, though. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Only against Germany. Oh, this is going to be awful. As long as our team doesn't overextend, we should be okay. Oh, Tutel. Tutel. And his name is Maestjus. That sounds revolting. 300 meters to the cap. The only cap. I should probably have APCR loaded straight away. Now that I think about this. Probably a very poor idea doing what I'm doing, but is this the bit I want to be on? I think it is actually. Yeah, this is it. This is it. We kill a guy there, he can't get through. Then we kill a guy here, they can't get through this way. Hold that horizontal. That'll do. Right. One guy can just. Oh god. I don't want that to happen. I can't even go that way actually, because I'll just die. Is he going to come up this way though? He is. This is good news. Thank you, teammate. Now maybe I can actually go this way. There's a panther right here. Ready our fuel. And my teammate's in that his cap, right? Yeah, he's getting beat up by a PT-76 right now. So this street. There goes another. God, that explosion knocked this guy. Flying, dude. Right, we we good, we good. The other guy's dead. This is mayhem. Oh, is that a guy through the gap? Can't even shoot through that. Yeah. Oh, it's a Panzer four seventy or something. Oh, this tiger's backing up. Only his radiator. Oh, his engine is red though. You're gonna drive through here. I dare you. Damn, that one at the wall. Oh, well, he's dead. But the tiger's still there, right? Still on the corner. Someone's pushing me this way. Maybe on the top of the hill? Oh, God. He doesn't see me. He died. He's up up front plated by an IS-2. There's somebody up there as well. If, if I go through we get surrounded, but... It might be funny. Uh, we reload APCR. Let's just keep APCR loaded. Someone up there is getting beat up on. I want this guy's breach out. Got our breach. Oh. I should have waited. Oh, crap. That guy's done for. Driver, maybe? Oh, that's got our pretty much everything. A Yag Panzer. Time to reverse. Oh. Okay, we're good. Okay, the Jagdpanther's dead, which leaves what? A Tiger and a Stug. Ouch. Tiny map syndrome. Nice, Commander Gunner's out. Come on, IS-2, your turn. Oh, Tiger 2P. <laughs> time, to, time to not be here. There's Panthers and everything down here. Oh, God. Well, he only got one kill, but this man just smoke cloud the entire map. What tiger killed you? Good. That's not a tiger. 
That is... That is an excellent shot, dude. Oh, my machine gun port. Bro. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Come on, the gunner. You want to back up? Yeah, he's going to back up. No, no ammo, no driver. Oh, God. We got artillery. Of course we did. Anyway. The power of positioning. There's actually quite a lot of enemies left, but... Two in planes. EZ5B2 just... Yoinked our teammate. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. We're good, we're good, we're good. How much energy you got, dude? He's carrying a bomb still, though. He is... A fuck wolf. A rolly boy. And it's GG. G G. Oh. What is this? Actually, this is weird. This has changed. Normally the spawns are really close to the A cap, but not this time around. Okay, I've actually come the wrong way here. I still think I'll be faster. There's gonna be a lot of enemies on this corner though. And this hill should actually give us a very decent speed boost. If I don't get sniped, that is. Yeah, 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 this is good. Let's see if we can catch anybody off guard. Germany, Japan, Italy, Israel? Oh yeah, we got tigers and stuff already here. Actually, my, my arty was kind of got me a little bit messed up right now. Good. And now there's like 9 million tanks on my right side. You stopped the initial push. Ke careful, Bulldog. He's actually sitting in a really annoying spot for us. Now he pushes up, right? That's a big nope. Why are you doing this, China man? Just be normal. Bro, please, God. Be useful for a second, will you? I'm in a really terrible position right now. He fired, I'll try. I don't really see him anymore. Oh, that's a bad hit. I can't re that tiger. I can... God, dude. Dude, please let me reverse behind you. He's gonna die. Thank God. This dude... It must be the most obnoxious player in the world. He did that on purpose, by the way, because... Oh, you're in my spot. That's uh, exactly, exactly that mentality. I just wanted to get away. But he just wouldn't let me reverse. Every single time I went to push as well, he pushed too. <laughs> There's no battlefield. And he left! Absolutely useless. There's, there's a special, like, reserve somewhere in hell for people who are actually worse than useless. There's some players who hold angles and make it difficult for enemies to push and stuff. That guy was just the complete opposite, right? Just so tied up with trying to get a kill that he got himself killed. That, that tiger's gonna die going around that way, so I'm not really bothered about him. This is an astonishing amount of vehicles in one spot, though. We might even get five here, let's see. We're getting the full drip. I got, I got the floor. Worth. Right. The tiger down there, the last one got ripped to shreds as well. Um, and there's bound to be an SPA sponsor on that, surely. Tiger's pushing his T-3485 and I want to make sure the T-3485 knows he's there. I keep forgetting these are slightly slower cannons I think to the 84s. There's an R3 down there. Yak-9, that's all you. 
Guess not. Must be got one. Okay. Back up we go. Oh, two planes coming in. That'll be me. Didn't dodge good enough. And this is a big old plane, dude. He's laggy as heck. Right, you can't get your bomb off of that, surely not. Oh no, I knocked this pilot out. No more aircraft? Oh. There's another one. I just don't know where he is. This man is angry. Those rockets are too low, I think, yeah. Eee, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. That SPA is still shooting me, so he must be console, right? But this guy really doesn't want to give up. Look at his oil tank. Hopefully my teammate picks up on that. Yeah, he is. I'm going to dip here. I slowed down quite a bit though, which is a problem. Okay, the Yag, the Yag one's on him. I want to get back around and get this Oswind. It was still firing at me way back there, he's just switched target now. Wait, one, two low, right? That's the kid right there. Did you kill this plane? There's another one up. Right, the, these rockets are super heavy, so... Another plane's coming in. Not good. Not too good. Uh, right side. Awesome. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry I never noticed that plane. Is it some Japanese thing? But I'm not sure what the heck it is. Carrying too much speed. Oh, yeah, he's got cannons. That was definitely cannons. I still got two rockets left, though. The Yag 1B is coming back, and there's a Werbel one shooting me now, too. Shot my rocket down. There we go. Nine kills in the old uh, Mauler. It's an A7. Actually, that's super scary. Uh, the game is over. Let's go P59 up. Two planes. But the enemy's not fighting hard enough to warrant anything happening. about the only thing they can turn fight with me. We got way more energy right now. Not very cool buzz. That's GG. I mean, when I got him on this pass, I never wasted. Right dude, finally a game where we won't take the M18. We're gonna need a bit of a stabilizer here for this. It's a full up tier though. Probably would have been better trying to go for the nuke with an M18, but here we go. Facing Russia and Germany on this map is going to be a real pain. Do we have any 6-7s? No. Which means they're all on the enemy team. Let's see what we got that tries to cross here, because we will have some. I've not done a video on the M64 yet. Yeah, could have scouted that guy. Unfortunately, we don't have scouting. What are you? E3485. Someone is close here too. M64. We're gonna... We're gonna have to work together, Chief. That guy spotted me, right? Not peeking there. I forgot the reverse on this is... Pretty doo, -doo as well. Uh, good enough shot. I need to back off now, this panther's gonna kill me. There's 
Two pandas as well. Oh, 85, shoot me. Okay, I lost my teammate. Oh, I didn't, he killed someone. Now he's dead. What is that? A tiger or a panther? It's a panther. Oh, I hit too low. Now he knows, dude. Now he knows. He did the shoot. But a reverse is shockingly abysmal. That was a nice flick, dude. Well done. Right, this guy knows what he's doing, and I'm sandwiched now between two pandas and a T3485. And someone's coming up behind me, too. Don't be a psycho. I got my old turret. I can't do anything. M18. I really need your help, basically. Old turret gone. So we're on equal terms now. Thank you. Right, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. You're you're a good player and I can tell. This guy's still in this warehouse. I can maybe at that tiger. Okay. This is gonna be a struggle, right? Nothing special to see yet. Now this guy is going through the back and I don't know where he's gonna end up. Probably here. There's an enemy in front of me too. No driver. He thinks he's safe, I think. Are you repairing that? That's a newer player, surely. Watching three angles from here is awful, but it does offer quite a lot of opportunity. You stop. Ouch. Tiger 2. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. M18, just hang in there, dude. 37 seconds to fix this. His barrel's also knocked out. He can get a shot on my roof here. Oh, there's a panther there as well. And an SU-85. Oh, I got the SU-100P. It's my turret ring too. But dead regardless, right? Right, he's double killed us. <laughs> right, okay. But we're out here on our own. We, we tried our best. Right, Saber Emperor. It's me and you, Chief. It's me and you. If I had an M18, I think we would have done better. Just cause scouting. Need to get rid of these guys pushing B though. They got anti-air down there, it looks like it. Okay, I think our teammates have actually dealt with most of them there. Nice. That's one. Let's get rid of the big boy down here now. No, I don't want to drop bombs on him. Here comes a plane. What is this anti-air doing? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, we are... We're in deep trouble here. Right, two anti-airs dead. 
E1's gonna struggle to hit this guy because he's a brick. But we won't. And it's just a 185. Which I think we can outturn all day. You're gonna fly us over more anti here. That sounds scary, whatever that was. Oh god, here. Okay. I didn't think that guy would get the shot on me, but he most certainly did. Careful, you one. Oh, here comes the other guy. We are dead here, unless he. Yeah, okay. Can I top down? I think he just got smacked by his own anti here. Do you know that? That Yag 9? This bomb really isn't big enough to do this guy any damage. But I can maybe fly him underneath this KA4 and get no. Wait, where's the Yak at? Did the Yak pull off? He might have done. He wasn't looking too good. Two more planes coming now. It doesn't seem to be an issue. Our teammates are just... Hammer down on them. There's a Wirble here. And this... Tiger that's going to get stuck in these things, so easy bomb placement. Damn, if I was paying more attention, I could have rocketed that Wirble at the same time. Uh -huh. Can I fit here? Just. I'm coming. Hang on a sec, dude. Okay. La 5, where we're damaged, is not a great fight to take. I can maybe get this Wirble at least. With my rockets, if they dust clears. Please. Okay, I got him crit. We're we getting BTR'd. <laughs> that, that was a fun match, actually. I've done a, I've had a lot better games today. Like 18 kills, but that was a actual fight. But I fill up to here. Oh, there you go. 3k. 3k points, GG. So we got a bit of variety, I think. The only vehicle I never took out was the M36, really, because there wasn't really a map where it warranted it. But you get an idea of what vehicles you need to use in the right scenario, and the right plane to choose for the right scenario in the air as well. Basically, all you need to have is a good light tank that has scouting, something that has a really potent gun that can handle full-up tiers, and a heavy tank that can break through, your staple medium tank, like a Panther or T-3485, depending on the nation you're playing. A good fighter that has bombs. And of course, a cast plane for when the skies are clear or you've got too many fighters up and you can start picking off tanks. That's my ultimate recommendation. Six vehicles in total. That's all you really need. It's a little bit overkill, but I get the min-max because I've got the experience. And of course, I've played on my account for 13,000 hours. So I have that luxury. I hope this video was educational more than entertaining. Uh, and I hope it helps you grind out this event. That being said, you have more vehicles to bring out. Hopefully, you'll do better in games and you don't take out four medium tanks and you can't handle a full up tier. Now you know you need at least a tank destroyer or a light tank that's got a powerful gun to deal with those situations. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today. I'm probably going to do a lineup every single week from now on, run about a 40 or 50 minute long video explaining why I'm using the lineup and then use it on multiple battles. As always, a huge thank you to all the supporters of the channel, uh, to all the tier 3s over on Discord and Patreon that get a shout out. That's Toast McGee, G Bruff, Ross, Buffy, Destari, Gifted Greed, Jimmy, Marushin, Please Call Me Landon, Squeezel, Stoy, and Terry Bad, and The Witch Doctor. And to everyone over on Patreon, the Cygnus Win, Matthew S, Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Paul Wendricks, The Taco Guy, FT and Watermelon, Shane McGuire, and the Stormwind, Brandon the Frying. Pirate Pickle, Ethan Logan, Excavation Nation, Handsome Dutty, Akinis, Lord, Kyle Manny, Please Call Me Landon, Ralph, Rides, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, TV2000 Atomic, Vanny and Warpig, Shaft, Elysia Mortan and Stoyan, this is totally my name, and J Tormey, David Pyrophoric and Shmoo. And to everyone still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.